Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahilladzi Hadana lihada Wa makunna linah tadia Lawla an hadana Allah Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi Wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan Ila yamiddin amma ba'd Alhamdulillah Dear brothers and sisters in Islam Rahimahumullah Alhamdulillah insyaAllah tonight 22nd of September 2012, we continue the lessons of this book, Riyadu Salihin, and inshallah tonight we we'll continue with the chapter 27. In this chapter, An Nawawi Rahimahullah named the chapter Bab Ta'zim Hurumatil Muslimin wa Bayan Hukukihim. Chapter about to respect the honor of a Muslim. To respect the honor of a Muslim and explaining the right of a, a Muslim. So in this also, in this occasion also related to the situation which happened to today's the insulting to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So these chapters might be revealed some teaching of Islam, some teaching of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Which might, if people understand what is the teaching of Islam, what is the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it might help them to understand what is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So in this tonight, maybe thirty minutes before we continue with another lessons in Urdu, uh, we'd like to read some. Hadith in this chapter, which mentioned by Imam Nawawi rahimahullah. The first hadith, Wa'an uh, Abi Musa, from the companion Abi Musa radiallahu anhu, Qala, Abu Musa said, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-mu'minu lil-mu'min kalbunyani yashuddu ba'duhu ba'dhan. So here, Prophet Muhammad explained the condition, the relation between the believers, the believers between mu'min. Prophet Muhammad said, Al-mu'minu lil-mu'min kalbunyani yashuddu ba'duhu ba'du. That one believer to other believer is like a building. One believer with another believer is like a building. How is a building? Prophet Muhammad said, Ya shuddu ba'duhu ba'da. So another part of the building strengthen the other part of the of the building. So this is the condition of mu'min, as explained by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So it's like a building, like a strong building. So simply, Prophet Salam make example like a building, and then explain how is a building. Ya shuddu ba'duhu ba'da. It strengthen each other. And even Prophet Sallam, while explaining this characteristic of a Muslim, also give example with his hands. He make like this. So this like strong like this. So this is condition of a, a mu'min. Among them, they should strengthen each other to be like a, a building. Like a strong building. Okay. Another sample. So here in the hadith from Abu Musa, radiallahu anhu, Prophet Sallam make a sample like a building. In another hadith, wa an an Nu'man ibn Bashir radiallahu anhu ma, from the companion Nu'man ibn Bashir radiallahu anhu ma means why here uh, it mentioned radiallahu anhu ma because Nu'man and also his father Bashir is companion. They are Muslim in the time of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So Nu'man ibn Bashir said uh, that, that Prophet Muhammad said, "Mathalul mu'minina fi tawadihim wa tarahumihim wa ta'atufihim." So the example of a mu'min in their mutual kindness, their com their compa compassionate, and also their sympathy among them, mathalul jasad. So here, first in the hadith from Abu Musa, Prophet Muhammad make example. It's like a building. Yashuddu ba'dahu ba'da. So here, Prophet Muhammad make a sample, mathalul jasad. It's like one, 
one body. It's like one, one body. So this is the simple explanation. It's like one body. A Muslim is like one body. And then Prophet Salam tried to explain. Again, building means yashutu ba'dahu ba'da. But now, how is the condition of a Muslim in this example? Prophet Salam said, إِذَا شْتَكَ مِنْهُ عَدْوٌ If one part of the body is being hurt, have some problem. If one part, for instance, the even his teeth has problem, so what will happen? So the other part of the body feel the problem. Okay, so this is explained by Prophet Salam. إِذَا شْتَكَ مِنْهُ عَدْوٌ if one part of the body is getting problem, getting sick, tada'a lahu sa'irul jasad bisahri wal humma. So the other part of the body make respond. This the example bisahri wal humma. So the other part of the body, the response is like it is uh, wakefulness. It is hard to sleep, hard to relax. Wal humma and also fever. Okay, but the point is that. The condition of a Muslim, of a mu'min, is like al-jasad. It's like one, one body. إِذَا اشْتَكَ مِنْهُ عَدْوًا تَدَاعَ لَهُ سَائِرُ الْجَسَدِ بِالسَّهْرِ وَالْحُمَى If one part of the body is hurt or have some problem, then the other part of the body respond with with this related problem. So this hadith mutafakun alayhi. The previous hadith uh, also mutafakun alayhi from Abu Musa. So there's two uh, two explanation about a Muslim, like a building, like a strong building, and second like a, a jasad. Like a building mean they strengthen each other. Yashudu ba'dahu ba'da. Yashudu ba'dahu ba'da. So one part is strengthen each other, and uh, like a body is one part make respond to it, to to others. If the other feel hurt, then he he will respond. So this is the second uh, hadith uh, from Nu'man ibn Bashir radiyallahu an radiyallahu an huma. Okay. Uh, another hadith would explain how the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if you read to this hadith, subhanallah, it is interest, really interesting to see how the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad so before the two hadiths explain how a Muslim should be like a building and like a body, like a full one body. Here, Prophet Sallam said, "Wa anhu also from Abi Musa, kala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam." Prophet Sallam said, "Man marra fi shayin min masajidina aw aswaqina, who came to our masjid, our mosque, or to our souk, our market, which." At the time, there are many people in the masjid and also in the in the market. And then he said, "Wa ma'hu nablun fal yumsik," and he brings something. Uh, nablun means arrows. He brings arrows. So he brings arrows, which might hurt others. So Prophet Salam said, "Fal yumsik." So he should keep these arrows. He should be careful about this. Arrows. Because if he didn't careful, these arrows might hurt the other people. So it might hurt the other, the other people. See? Uh, the complete hadith Prophet Salam said, "Awli yakbid ala nisaliha bi kafhi ayu ayusita ahadan min al muslimina minha bi shay." Okay. So the the point is, if we bring something in this point, the arrow which the might hurt others. So Prophet Sallam remind here, remind him, fal yumsik. So be careful. You should keep, in particular, the 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 point which is really dangerous of the of the error of the arrow. Okay. So this is amazing the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad Sallam. This person, he didn't mean to hurt actually, but Prophet Sallam remind him, even you didn't mean to hurt, you should be careful, because you might hurt unintentionally. So, of course, people who wanted to hurt others, this is forbidden in Islam. But Islam is further than that. Even Islam reminds us not to be uncareful that you might hurt others. So again, Prophet Sallam reminds uh, here, teach here, 
So whoever came to the mosque or to the masjid, and we can also say it as a lesson from this teaching to other people when there is gathering among people, and he brings something which might dangerous to people. So he should be very careful about about these things because it might hurt others. Okay? It might hurt others. So can this explain the the teaching of Islam? Islam didn't teach us to hurt others. Islam forbid us to hurt others, intentionally and also unintentionally. Because maybe if we didn't careful, we might hurt, we might hurt others. Fair? So those hadiths are also from Abu Musa, radiallahu, radiallahu anhu. And then another thing, wa uh, Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu from Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu kala. Abu Hurairah said about our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Qabbala an-nabiyyu sallallahu alaihi wasallam al-Hasan ibn Ali radiyallahu anhu. So one time Prophet sallam kissed Hasan ibn Ali, Hasan. His his grandson. Son of uh, not grandson, son of Ali. Wa wa indahu al-Aqra ibn Habis. And at that time one of the uh, Another person named Akra ibn Habis saw this what happened to Prophet Muhammad. So Prophet Muhammad kissed a boy, a small boy, Hassan ibn ibn Ali. Fakal al Akra. Then Akra said, Akra said to Prophet Muhammad, Inna li ashratan min al walad ma qabbal tu binhum ahadan. So I have, I have ten boys, I have ten children. And I never kiss any of them. I never kiss any of them. Okay? Then Prophet Sallam wondered. فَنَظَرَ إِلَيْهِ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ فَقَالَ Then Prophet Sallam said, مَنْ لَا يَرْحَمْ لَا يُرْحَمْ MashaAllah. Who didn't give... Uh, what is yarham in English? Mercy. Mercy. Who didn't do merciful to others, لَا يُرْحَمْ Then he will not also being merciful by by others so this is the the rules that we need to understand man la yarham la la yurham who didn't give good things to others then don't expect other people will give him good things if he want to be treated as good then he would he should try to do to do good to to others so it it's maybe it's simple to remember man la yurham man la yarham la yurham if he didn't care to others, then don't expect others to care about, about him. If he didn't do love, lovely things to others, merciful things to others, then uh, in this study said, La Yurham. Then he will not be also being merciful. And in particular, if we think of Allah SWT. If he didn't do good to others, then the point is, then Allah will not do good to us. So this is something a uh, problem. Because we want to do good things from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Almost the same uh, story, the same lessons. So the hadith that we read is from Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu. So the next is from Aisha radiallahu anha. Qalat. Aisha said that some people of Arab of came to the Prophet Muhammad. Bedouin. From Bedouin Arab came to the Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Then they say They ask Aisha Because Aisha Many people companion ask Aisha About the character of Prophet Sallam Because of course Aisha is wife of the Prophet Sallam The mo- uh, people who know most about Prophet Sallam Is the, uh, his wife And among them is uh, Aisha So this Bedouin said Atukabbiluna uh, Sibyanakum did Prophet Sallam kiss their children, their small boys or girls? Okay. So, from the question, it's interesting. How come they ask this kind of thing? This Bedouin asked, can you believe they asked, came to the Aisha and they asked, did Prophet Sallam kiss the boys or the girls? So, it's interesting to understand their condition, the condition of the Bedouin. Because this is something strange for them, kissing small boy. For us, maybe something natural to kiss our children, to kiss 
even other people, children, we kiss them. In Japan. In no? Japan, we don't have such a... Ah, is it? <laughs> okay. Then, uh, then it is said, I'm sorry, they didn't ask to Aisha, but asked to Prophet Salam. But Aisha watched all these things happen. Fakola and Prophet Salam said, nah, yes. We kissed them, of course. Fakolu, Kolu, then this Bedouin said, Lakinna wallahi ma nukabbir. They said, Allah, in the name of Allah, we didn't kiss our small boys. Fakala Rasulullah sallam, awa amlik in kana wallahu naza'a min kulubikum rahma. So I can do anything. If you still do like that, then maybe Allah Sintala will take rahma from your heart. So it is sound that there is no rahma in their heart. By kissing children, kissing this is so the, our love to, to human being. Even maybe even this is not our son. If we, if we see small boys, small girls, it is like natural to kiss them, to hug them. This is natural. So Prophet Sallam said, Naza'a min kulubikum rahma. Allah said, take from your heart rahma, mer, uh, merciful. Khair. So, well, this is the action which shown the condition of the, of the heart. And in the other part, to teach or to clean our heart is to try to do this thing. Okay. I don't know about the condition of the Japanese, is it like <laughs> that? So maybe we need to give them sample. Maybe, maybe some bacteria or something pass to the child, so that's why they want this. Ah, is it? This way. Mm -hmm. This way. Okay. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have. There is also some people say that shaking hand is the best way to transfer the bacteria. Well, in Islam, shaking hand is something really recommended. And if we meet someone and then we shake our hand, and one of the hadith it is said that the sin is, is goes away. But that's some people make some. <coughs> yeah, in the other hand, of course, we try. Uh, one more thing. I think so. And I see, but uh, I didn't go to the Arabia in a big country. But I see in the television or whatever, they are kissed all right on life when they're ah, they hugging. So right. not to kiss to mouth right and left and thin. So everyone pulls them. So some other countries on in the or always in mm. European countries, same do it. But same thing. <laughs> We are the Muslims and we are Islam. The same do it in Islam, in Arabic same. Because here, mm. not to mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. The point first about the second hand. Of course, in the other part, this religion also teach us to 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 take care about the cleanness, to take care about the, the cleanness and about second hand. Some other. Non-Muslim also perform this, but of, of course there is some difference. Even they do in between men and ladies, so we are not. We are only men between between men and ladies and and ladies and sort of a thing, inshallah. But the point is, uh, the love of the children. This is one of the signs that there is rahma in in our heart, inshallah. And this is the character of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And in, from this hadith, of course, it should be our sample. Should be our simple. And then Wa'an Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu from the companion Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu kala, Prophet Sallam said, almost the same with the previous, Prophet Sallam said, Man la, man la yarhamin nas la yarhamhullah. So this is clear again, Muttafaqun alayhi this hadith. So he didn't go merciful to an nas, human being. La yarhamhullah. Then Allah will not be merciful to, to him. So again, this is the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad So this kind of teaching that maybe most of the people didn't understand about who is Prophet Muhammad Who is Muhammad ibn Abdullah? What is the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad ibn Abdullah? So this is one of the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad He said, Man la yarhamin nas la yarhamullah 
And in this world, this is called Anas. Anas means not only Muslim. Even in the other hadith, not only human being. Not only human being. One time, there is hadith about uh, a lady who helped a dog. So in the end, the companion said, Oh, Prophet is there any good things to help this kind of uh, makhluk? Yes. Even to any makhluk who have limb. What is? Kabit? Liver. Who have liver. So any makhluk who have liver and we help them, see, it will be sadaqa. There's good things in there. So again, not only Muslim. Not only Muslim, but, but everyone. That's why, of course, of course, Yes? Including animals. Yeah, including animals. Yes, including animals. Khair. So this is the, the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad Sallam. He said, Man la yarhamin nas, la yarhamullah. Who didn't love to human being, who didn't do merciful to human being, then Allah SWT will not give love to him, will not do merciful to, to him. Khair. So this is, we, as the follower of the Prophet Muhammad Sallam, this is our duty to to explain that this is the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The next uh, hadith An Ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma Anna Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Aqal That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Al-Muslimu Akhul Muslim That a Muslim is brothers to other Muslim This is the rules This is, this is the condition the next is the explanation. Because maybe we said, okay, we are brothers. But then what is the, the difference if we are brothers or not? So if we are brothers, then we should la yutlimu. Then if we are brothers, we never hurt each other. We never do unjust thing to, to each other. Wala yuslimu. And we never, yuslim means how? To let him alone. Probably hand him to, especially to kuffar. Yes, this is uh, some scholars also in explanation to hand him to the kuffar. If they have problem with kuffar, and then we let him just do himself with his own problem, or even give him to the to the kuffar. So we ne- will never we never do this. We should never do do this. Okay, Be- why? Because al Muslim akhud Muslim. We are. We are brothers. Man kana fi hajati akhihi, kana Allahu fi hajati. Masha'Allah. Man kana fi hajati akhihi, kana Allahu fi hajati. Who help one of the needs of our brothers, then Allah will help his needs. Who help the needs of other brothers, Allah will help his needs. Masha'Allah. This is the, the sign of brotherhood among us. Brotherhood is not only in the, in the lips. That we are brothers, we are brothers. All the Muslim is brothers. But where is the, the sign of the brotherhood? If there is brotherhood, we say, but we let, we do injustice to other Muslim. We let them with their own problem. And we didn't help them. This is another thing from this point. Man kana fi hajati akhihi, kana Allahu fi hajati. Who help the needs of other brothers, then Allah will help him. So this is... This turn, this barter is really different. For instance, I help you, but the reward which I hope is not the help from, from you, but from Allah Subhanahu Wa which is something bigger, which is something far more bigger. I have problems, for instance, but I still helping you, because I hope Allah will, will help me not, not from those, from those people. Of course, this is based on our aqidah on our understanding about the about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because if we understand this then we really hope only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we really hope only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay? and if we hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this hadith teach us if you want help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then help others then help other Muslims okay? again Prophet Salam said Man kana fi hajati akhihi, kana Allahu fi hajatih. Whoever help one Muslim, his brothers, then Allah will help him. Uh, continuation of the hadith. وَمَنْ فَرَّجَ عَنْ مُسْلِمِ قُرْبَةً 
farrajallahu anhu biha qurbatan min qurbi yaumil qiyamah so this is another uh, explanation how to, exp- to dif- differentiate hajah and kurba hajah needs needs and general needs kurba mean kurba means uh, difficulty difficulty or problems for these two things to differentiate it mashallah prophet sallam explained this in detail who have the needs and the second who have the problem of the his brothers okay man farraja an muslimi an muslimin qurbatan who have the problem of another muslim then farraja allahu anhu biha qurbatan min qurbi yawmin qiyam allah will help him with his problem not only problem in this dunya but qurbata qurbatan min qurbi yawmin qiyam our problem our difficulties in the here after which is their brothers in Islam, rahimakumullah, this problem is really big in the, in the Yom al okay. Our problem is that in this dunya is nothing compared to our problem in the, in the hereafter. What will happen to us in the, even in the Kubr, in the after we death, yeah. even in the first night of the Qabr, what will happen at that night? The difficulties at that time what do you do, Billah? If you have difficulties, that it will be really, really hard to solve. Okay, so we need to have to prepare, and one of the preparation is by helping others in this, in this dunya, inshallah. Another thing, woman satara musliman satara hulahu yawman qiyamah. This is another part. We need to understand that Muslim is not malaika. Means Muslim, they might have something bad. Because we are not malaika. We are not something completely good. Good in any part of us. There must be something something problem with us. Okay? Something not perfect with us. So at that time, then we need to keep this problem. We need to keep the, the bad things of our brothers. Of course, it doesn't mean that we keep and we, do, we didn't care. If we can, then we need to give nasiha to our brothers to help him improve. This is nasiha, good. But not to spread this to others. This is, this is two different things. Give nasiha is one part, and this is uh, another relation that song that we are brothers. We give nasiha. But explain to others this is another part which is forbidden in Islam. That's why what should we do is to, to keep the mistakes of our brother. So here, Prophet Salaam said, Waman satara muslima who kept the mistakes or the bad things of our brothers, satarahu Allahu yawman qiyamah. Then Allah also will keep his mistakes, his sins in the in the hereafter. In the hereafter, there is time, it's called, what is in Arabic? So every one of us will be interviewed one by one, one to one with Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is part of that. And there is one of the hadiths that one person, I was to explain, isn't you perform these sins, this sins, this sin, this sin, and other thing? So this person feels, oh my God, I've made so many sins in the dunya. Then Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I forgive all of this. So Allah Sallallahu because Allah Sallallahu in this dunya, Allah Sallallahu Alaihi already kept these mistakes, didn't spread to others. <coughs> so Allah said, I kept also for you in this time, and I forgive you. All the sin is forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And another person, this interview actually one by one. This is also, it is just because some people who do wrong things, yes. uh, do haram, uh, they go out and they tell to the people, I did this and did this yesterday, and I played with this uh, even. So yes, those yes. People, those people who disclose the sins, Allah will, uh, or the sins of others also. Allah will disclose the sins in the upper, in front of the whole people. Yes, there is also the hadith that, uh, All of our, the, the ummah of the Prophet will be forgiven by Allah SWT, except Mujahara. Yes, those who disclose. Those who disclose. He, this another part of the human beings. So the, the general rule is, if we make sins, that's one of the rahmah of Allah SWT is to keep our sins from others. This is rahmah from Allah SWT. You do sins, we, we, 
we do sins. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with His Rahmah, His Merciful, He kept others to know our sin. But some people, He intentionally explaining the sin to others. I came to this meeting and I said, oh, I just came tonight to this and explain the bad things. So this is Mujahara. I, Allah will not forgive this kind of, of people. Uh, but, but another people, it's not only his sins, but he's explained other people's sins, other people's bad things. So uh, get, come back to the interview. So these people, our uh, good people, Allah SWT make the interview only one by one. But these bad people, Allah SWT explain the sins not only to these people, but to all the people. So in the, the first people, Allah SWT explain, you perform this, 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 but only to these people. But the second people, Allah SWT explain to other people. These people perform this, these people perform this, and other people know. So again, this is the another characteristic of a Muslim. وَمَنْ سَتَرَ مُسْلِمًا سَتَرَهُ اللَّهُ يَوْمَ الْكِيَامَةِ even uh, the scholars like Ibn Taymiyyah, he say, if we see sins of our brothers, then this is our amana. This is our responsibility. Amana also to keep these mistakes from others, but also to give nasihat. Okay. So some people might have some misunderstanding. He think giving nasihat is by explaining to others. This is wrong. Because they think, they say it, I say to people so he might change, but this is, in most of the case, this is wrong. If you want to change people, then you came to him and explained the things to him, in general. In general case, is like, like this. Okay. So this is the condition of a Muslim, and maybe this is the, the, how say, the, the last hadith that we discussed for today. There are. Some hadith, uh, inshallah, this is enough to explain one part of the, the teaching of the, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu In the beginning, explain that Muslim is like building, yashuddu ba'duhu ba'da, or like a body. Okay. If one part of the body is being hurt, then the other will, will respond, inshallah. And this kind of teaching, inshallah, in this situation, it is important first to non-Muslim, to explain to non-Muslim so that they didn't misunderstand about the teaching of, of Islam. But for us, we have this problem also. We have our problems in Burma, we have problems in, in other parts. Actually, we need to help, to help them okay? with all the things that, that we can do. And if we knowledge know that we cannot help so much, so this is actually a big problem of, of a Muslim country. Why we cannot help our brothers in a, in a really strong manners? So this uh, we need to to improve. And one of the improvement maybe in general is to improve our our taqwa because this is strengthened by if we see the story of Muhammad al Fatih for instance. He understand the bishara, the good news that the people which conquer the Constantinople. It is explained the best leader. Then Muhammad al Fatih take conclusion. Best leader should be the people who are close to Allah Sunda. It's not only people who are good in management, good in in physics, in mathematics, but he should be people who being close to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. So it is uh, we remember from the history that the Muhammad al Fatih itself and also the his What's Junud, his soldier? His people who are close to Allah SWT. So, nasiha among them is being taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa ma yattaqillah yaj'allahu makhraja wa yarzuqu min haythu la yahtasib. So, inshallah, we strive to improve our taqwa, our following, to follow the teaching of Islam, to follow the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hadana Allah wa ayyakum ajma'in. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. I have one question. Uh, everyone in Japan and other of also the Islamic countries, uh, everyone say to about the Burmese problem. When the 
in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a start to the vegan to Islam and he teach everyone why don't so why they are not to going they are don't we help is it understand we are understand why they are not no themselves the brumis yes about brumis why they are when we are about islam when muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they start to islam it just five or 10 people yeah. starting yeah. same about this masjid was the name of saint then we are yeah. not and is starting then why they are not going to start why they are not fighting just they say we are hungry mm. in about the saudi arabia every month year 5 million dollar sent to burmans so not fight not killing they need only money and burma buy for everything Mm-hmm. guns everything and they are shooting there so what is the problem why they are not doing why they don't fight khair okay. i want to know khair okay. anyone knows so brother say everyone here why they don't fight? we can why did if i think if hey, they have Mm. real islam they are fight themselves why they don't fight uh khair khair the question hungry 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 <laughs> okay i don't understand the question is clear i think clear asal mein masla ye hai baat to aapne mashallah bhai zabardast kiya achhi tawajjuh hai lekin haqeeqat ye hai ke maghrib ki saazish ye hai matlab aapko kehna ye hai ki kyunki musalman jo mumalik hain wo उनकी जाके मदद नहीं करते और वो लोग हमारे ऊपर अटैक करते रहते हैं ये कहने का मतलब है ना आपका कि वो लोग हमें कमजोर समझते हैं कमजोरी कहते रहते हैं दहशत गर्द कहते रहते हैं हमारे ऊपर इल्जाम लगाते रहते हैं हमें ब्लेम करते हैं ना वो कि पूरी दुनिया के अंदर फसाद मुसलमानों को मचाया हुआ और खुद जो है वो हैं जालिम और दूसरी तरफ हम देखते हैं कि अपने मुसलमान हुक्मरान जो हैं जो सऊदी अरब का मिसाल दी कि वो एक तरफ तो बर्मा को पैसे सेंड कर देता है तो ये नहीं करता कि वो जाकर उनको छुड़ाए या उनके दो मसलों से निजात दिलाए ऐसे मेरा मकसद ये नहीं मेरा मकसद ये है मैं अब मैं तो खैर गुना बहुत बहुत बड़ा गुना है मैं बोलना जो ना सबसे बड़ा गुना है जी जी मकसद ये है कि अगर दिल और ईमान पक्का है इफ यू हैव रियल इज मुस्लिम यू हैव रियल Islam, you will fight yourself. Yeah. Why you are dying? <laughs> Why you say to help us? Because the Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam don't say to anyone. No, no, no. This is not. It's a little, a little. This kind of concept to clear. The Quran is talking about this. Look, when we were here, we had a little bit of a problem. That Muslim, Muslim, is a brother. Muslim, Muslim, is a brother. Okay. That's understood. But one person is weak. अब वो है ही कमजोर ठीक है ईमान इंसान को लेकिन चूंकि एक तरफ जो, जो है वो दुनिया का सारा असला हो और एक तरफ आपका ईमान हो ना तो अल्लाह तबारक उस ईमान के साथ साथ कहते कि है उसके एक... साथ भी बोलता है तेरह साल तक मक्का में रहे अल्लाह के नबी ने किसी को हाथ में उठाया नहीं उठा नहीं क्यों उठाया हालांकि उस वक्त मुसलमान तो दाद में थे ना वही तो दाद थी जो मदीना में जाके उन्हीं तीन सौ तेरह लोगों ने जंग की थी लेकिन अल्लाह के नबी ने मक्का के अंदर हाथ नहीं उठाया मदीना के अंदर जाके हाथ उठाया और डिफेंस डिफेंडिंग जो है ना उससे बढ़ के आपने एक जारहाना हमली अख्तियार की क्यों 
اس لیے کہ یہ قرآن کا اصول ہے کہ جب تک آپ ایک پراپر طریقہ اور پراپر حکمت عملی اختیار نہیں کر لیتے اور دنیاوی اعتبار سے جب تک اللہ تعالیٰ کا حکم نہیں آ جاتا تب تک آپ نے نہیں کیا مکہ کے اندر کوئی حکم نہیں تھا لیکن بعد میں آیت نازل ہوئی کہ ازین علی اللہ نے اوقات اب جو ہے اس وقت جو ہے اس وقت کیفیت پتا کیا اس وقت مسلمان کمزور نہیں ہے جو ہم کہتے ہیں نا کہ مسلمان کمزور ہے مسلمانوں کو کمزوری کی بات کمزور نہیں ہے نا تو اسی وجہ سے میں یہ بات کہنا چاہتا ہوں کیوں مسلمان دبائے جا رہے ہیں کیوں دبائے جا رہے ہیں بات میں اس نے بات یہ پہلے کہنے لگا تھا کہ دیکھیں مغرب کی سازش ہے ایک تو پہلی بات یہ ہے کہ اگر آپ نے کسی کا مقابلہ کرنا ہو نا اپنے ہاتھ سے تو اکیلی انگلی سے آپ کبھی مقابلہ نہیں کرتے جب تک آپ اس کا مکہ نہیں بنا لیں مغرب کی سازش یہ ہے انیس سو چوبیس کے اندر خلافت عثمانیہ کا سکوت ہوا ہے اس سے پہلے تک کبھی کسی کو جرت نہیں ہوئی تھی حالانکہ پہلی جنگ عظیم میں لڑی گئی ہے لیکن پہلی جنگ عظیم کے اندر بھی مسلمانوں کو کوئی نقصان نہیں ہوا ٹھیک ہے نا انیس سو چوبیس کے اندر جب خلافت عثمانیہ کا سکوت ہو گیا جب مسلمانوں کی مرکزیت ختم ہو گئی اس کی بات انہوں نے ایک ایک کر کے اس کو ہڑپا ہے اس وقت بھی کیفیت یہ ہے کہ مسلمان جغرافیائی سرحدوں کے اندر تقسیم ہے یہ وجہ تقسیم جو ہے نا یہ ہمارے اس کمزور ہونے کی وجہ بنیادی وجہ ہے اور ہمیں اکٹھا ہونے سے روک رہی ہے جس دن ایک کہتے ہیں نا کہ ایک مرکزیت ہمیں مل گئی تو ان شاء اللہ آپ دیکھیے گا کہ یہ سارے کے سارے مسئلے ہمارے حل ہو جائیں گے اور اس کے لیے جد وجہ کرنا ہمیں سارے ان شاء اللہ پوری دنیا میں وہ تو حدیثوں سے میں ایسا تھوڑی سی بات کروں گا ابھی جب یہ میرا درد آج میرا موضوع یہی ہے ان شاء اللہ میں اس پہ تھوڑی سی بات کروں گا پھر اس کے بعد آپ کو سوال سوال آپ کے موقع میں کیونکہ ابھی سے وقت ضائع ہوتا رہے گا اس میں تھوڑا سا ہم قرآن پاک اور حدیث کی روشنی میں اس کو سمجھنے کی کوشش سر میں ایک کمنٹ ابت یور کوشچن سر ان اسلام دیر از ون پرنسپل وچ دی اسکالر سیز لیکولی مقام ان مقال ان ایچ پلیس ان ایچ پوزیشن دیر از ورڈس فار دیم So in this condition, you say, why didn't they do the jihad by themselves? Yeah. So this is for them. For them, which is uh, attacked by non-Muslim, of course they should perform jihad. But now the question is for us, what should we do? So it is unfair to say the words which is for them and took it for us. I mean, for instance, if someone lend money to others, so A, lend money to B. So there are... Te- many different teaching of Islam. For someone who give money, who lending the money, Islam teach them to keep the money and even give the money for these people. But for the people who took the land, the money, yeah. what is the teaching of Islam? Yeah. To pay the land yeah. as soon as possible. So this is the Likuli Maqal Maqal. In each position there is a right teaching of Islam which he should be taking care of. So in here, as a Muslim, as a one body of a Muslim, if we say there are we, which is outside Burma, and our brothers in, in Burma, which have the problems. So, of course, first we need to have uh, Husnu Zawan. Then, inshallah, they already do their own best to, pr- to protect <coughs> their family. How can they didn't protect their family? Their wife being raped, their ladies being raped, they should protect with their power. But maybe they are powerless this time. So the problem is, what can we do? So this is the... So, I mean, of course, for them, it is good to do jihad. Yes. So I want cannot... to say the one word for... Why we will... I did, didn't say about the Burmese is uh, Muslims. And the Muslim man is a mistake. Mm-hmm. But the... But, Burmese government in the state. They took the money from other country, but used the, that money to kill them. Mm-hmm. The government to government to pay. Burmese government. And they make, they are killing, use the, the mistake. I want to say this word. Um, it's the responsibility of the pay, the people who pay the money. To assure that the money goes in the right way? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's the responsibility. Khair. 
جزاك الله خير سو اوكي دي ديدن يوز ذا رايت هاي جزاك الله خير سو اور براذر سترينج بوينت اوت از وي نيد اف وي وونت تو هيلب ذن وي نيد تو ريلي اشور ذات وات وي دو از ريلي هيلب ذيس ذيس بيبل خير ذيس از وان جود 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 بوينت اف وي جيف ماني ذن وي نيد تو اشور ذات ماني جوز ان ذا in the right hand right hand useful and and yeah useful to have the the yeah. master, inshallah this is my part khair i think it is the responsibility of the yeah. muslims who are living outside especially dawahs the mm. they have to put as much pressure as possible especially like uh, countries in uh, indonesia and malaysia because they are the same group uh, economic group at asia yes, so yeah. they have bigger responsibility and those bangladesh So the problem Muslims in uh, Myanmar or, or Burmese Muslims, unfortunately, I believe most of them, they, are, uh, they have low level of education. I have this also. Not many of them, for example, are learned or they have uh, well-educated uh, uh, group of Muslims who are maybe, who could be leaders and who could also speak and talk and protect them. This is the problem, big problem. Mm-hmm. The education problem, this number one. Yeah. They are poor. This number two, uh, number three, they are not receiving uh, support from especially Bangladesh. They have big responsibility. The government is secular, anti-Islam, and this is a big problem, I believe. Because if Bangladesh was uh, really supporting them, they would have uh, talked to the whole world. They would, have, like, they would have made noise. Like, for example, Pakistan is talking about Kashmir. Uh-huh. Same. Yes. Pakistan is always, or has been always, talking about Kashmir. Defending Kashmir. The Bangladeshi, even though they are from the same ethnic uh, group, they don't care. They don't care. So they need international support, especially for Muslim countries. We have to, if the Muslim Ummah was uh, strong enough, nobody would do any harm to us, to any Muslim. They would never, for example, We do this kind of things or I think so they would never. Unfortunately, we are still weak, mm-hmm. so we ha- still have to work very, very hard. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Maybe we conclude with this that we realize that we so are really we weak. Want to right? make, so you do, do take the Record. interview <coughs> recording <laughs> and YouTube. <laughs> so, okay, the, the point from the question, the discussion is that. I'm sorry, I, I didn't understand the, the order, so we cannot conclude, but the point that we are, maybe we are really weak today, so we need to start with strengthen the Muslim with the Islamic teaching. Hopefully, we have leaders with good understanding in Islamic teaching, which kept the responsibility of uh, leaders. But again, this responsibility of the leaders is really huge. But of course, leaders came also from us. I mean, not only leaders, but also the people of Muslim need to help them. Uh, even by dua to the leaders, even by, by other things, inshallah. inshallah. In general, may Allah SWT help the condition of this ummah, inshallah. And may Allah SWT give us guidance to be a good contributors to Muslim ummah in general. Hadanallah wa iyyakum ajma'in. Subhanakullah wa bihamdik. Ashadu la ilaha ilaha ta astaghfiru wa atubi ilayk. Wa khiru da'wana. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.